he who thinks he can and he who thinks he can't are both usually right so our next guest is devika sanichar she's one of the young generation boys fighting for ssr she's from canada she serves as a social worker for high school kids how amazing is that at such a young age you know she's involved to give it back to this community thank you devika um, you're on mute so you can take it over now much and thank you for allowing me to be a part and parcel of this amazing platform and uh smita didi it's like it's amazing to see you um and to be a part of this so let me compose myself uh like everybody said and they started their segment you know the real question becomes why you why do we feel the way we do and it came across to me that as somebody that is not born in india my parents are not born in india but rather my four parents are from india and they migrated over to south america to where my parents are now born in guyana not located in the south american continent it really came down to bollywood i grew up watching it and being hindu as well as sushant there was a lot of cultural practices there and where i find the vika in all of this is the mere fact that like most of us when we saw that news flash across our western screen on the 14th none of us could buy it irregardless of what we seen or what we didn't see we knew it was just not possible and i think for somebody to come across who none of us on the other side might have really met him to know for a fact that that was not true and it's everything but the truth we felt that we had an we knew we had an obligation as forward thinking people with moral with a moral compass and today i would just like to share as a as a young person that he has 8 years on me um what do i see and what do i see from sushant that i can actively apply for my life and when i think about the realm of education and i think of the realm of philosophy those two they go hand in hand and i would just like to highlight um you know everybody knows that he bought a piece of the moon he went to nasa he was actively involved in trying to do something above and beyond for not only the younger generation but also for seniors for people of different abilities for the armed forces and 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 men and women in in uniform he was there in every in every right way for every person he could he could be there and you could see a part of him um in yourself and i would say like like many of us know about um astronomy and the love of science he was a solutionist there was nothing that couldn't be solved by him he he taught the world that there's a solution and it's tangible and it's out there it's only a matter of time before you find it and once you have dedicated effort as other speakers have said once you go out there with a curious mind and you're excited about life that's what he did when he went in front of the camera he was excited because he was there he was present and you know you could go on youtube and watch the the rest of the for those who who might not know and for people watching this later on if you google sushant and you sit down and you kind of comb through it you will see that he was a person that was so obsessed with his future because he knew money was a big factor he wanted fame recognition the whole thing his whole formula and his famous quote of living between 4 to 5:30 that paradigm i honestly think that's what he left for all of us to try and be a part of and you know that alone is a philosophy for somebody to actively see the world as his classroom to go out there to be multi talented to have all of these skills to be curious to wear t-shirt references to come on to an interview and use all of this grandiose language or some of the interviews are like the interviewers they don't know what he's saying they're just nodding and smiling okay i guess you know this is you have a very high intellect some videos are called you know meet with uh, professor sushan singh raj but because they're just like you're just talking and i'm just listening and we'll make sense of it when we edit uh so that just goes to show he was right there there was nothing that was hers his his vocabulary is himself he he has his own energy and you put a topic in front of him and he'll talk about it either from his own lived experience from his paradigm or from what he knows and as a going um as as my my introduction as a social worker that i'm now working with young people 18 17 19 i i ask him i'm like why like how how like these why why did you stick with us for 3 months why like you could have you know elevated and be where you where you need to be but how do you stay with us and 
it's really hard because a lot of us, I really resonate with those other young people who lost their lives because they couldn't bear the fact, they couldn't bear the fact that if, so, you know, one of the letters, if Sushant did it, I can too. One young woman, she just watched all these films and, you know, she, her life took a different turn. So the loss of Sushant and the other young sister that is actively involved that we're all fighting for. So Sean didn't just take one of us, he took all of us. And some of us just could not bear that. And it really goes to show that this is a person where you just have to say his name, do a little bit of research, and then literally move on from him and he will reveal himself. He will come to you in the way that he wants to come to you. And it's, it's a very different experience. So Sean, maybe for people who didn't believe in a higher power or they believed in universal laws, because if Joke is a man of faith and a man of logic, he saw both of those as being the same. He could connect to, to you know, how he identifies the, his, his Lord. He can say, you know what, I know Mahadev on a logical perspective and I know him on a faith-based perspective and both of them are equally right. So in that way, you cannot be wrong. You cannot say or sway anybody because he never did that. And just quickly, in a nutshell, um, for me, being here in Canada, I mean, you know, he's, I've never done anything artistic, went ahead, and I just wanted the world to know, I wanted India to know, I want, I want even my young generation, I want the West Indian community to know that I'm, I'm a part of based on my heritage. You cannot forget where you come from, and if you live in India, you cannot forget where you belong. And it's utmost important that Sushant has to live through all of us. And if it's from the north of the, the, the polar to the bottom of the, of the end of the world, people will have to, they will be compelled to know who he is. And I, I truly believe that. And I really pray that, you know, Mahadev guides all of us, guides him. And you know what, Sushant, we all know this. He shows up in his own way. And... Um, it's only a matter of time before we see him walking down the road again because I've, I sort of got it caught myself a couple of times having, having to do double takes, but uh, no, he's very much alive. And you know what, Canada is always going to be the true north for him. Thank you. Thank you, Devika. And uh, it was a very emotional speech. Um, so like, as you said, a lot of people ask me also that Shilpa, I see a lot of your posts are on India, on people from India or whatever. I'm always raising my voice. Um, I think you answered the question. You know, we should never forget where we are from. Of course, I love, I'm an American citizen and I love America as much as I love India. Karma Bhumi and Matra Bhumi, right? So, yeah, I hope people understand that. Thank you so much. And Smita, I would really want you to share a few uh, thoughts about what they did. She really, oh, sorry. Yeah, I mean, made, made me emotional. Yeah. emotional. And I'm, you know, I'm really thankful, Dick. No, okay. So, sorry. You know, Devika, you have Sushant in you. I could see it. Because at this young age, you've taken up. Uh, you know, uh, to something which is related to kids' education. You know, kids at your age, they don't think like you. And I'm that. so don't proud of that. you. I'm so proud of you. And God bless you. And the kind of values and cultures, you know, you're carrying. I'm sure if Sushant would be alive, if he's, you know, here, he would be blessing you. And keep up the good work. Whenever you need me for anything related to education for kids, uh, you know, uh, visually impaired or uh, underprivileged, uh, you know, I'm always there. I'm always there, you know, if you want to do any fundraiser, if you want me to be present, anytime, you know, just feel free to connect with me. And thank you so much for being you. 